keto diet mistake number two, which is to trust your gut. And what I mean by that is take care of your intestinal health, take care of your gut bacteria. See, what ends up happening far too often is people go on a ketogenic diet, they end up eating just tons and tons and tons of meats and not enough fats. So what ends up happening is they end up supporting only the gram-negative bacteria within their gut. This gram-negative bacteria can end up overriding your gut biome and making it so that you end up having a higher chance of gaining weight even when on the ketogenic diet. So you wanna make sure you're getting good plant-based foods and plant-based fats whenever possible. I'm not saying don't consume meat in this case. If you're on a ketogenic diet and you enjoy consuming meat, there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion. But you wanna make sure you're getting some good healthy fats from a plant source to balance everything out. You wanna take care of your gut bacteria. Consume prebiotic foods. So consume a lot of good fibers. Use acacia fiber, use things like that. But also consume things like kimchi and sauerkraut to help grow your gut bacteria and help put the good bacteria in there so that you can process the foods that you're consuming. Mm -hmm.